Welcome back to another acting analysis and today I'm going to talk about the movie Ad Astra. That's right, so today it's Ad Astra. I'm going to take a look at one specific sequence and as always, let's not waste time, let's go straight to it. And in this sequence, it's about a briefing with these top people and Brad Pitt right there. So as they go through and they show him very confidential material, what I want to look at is this. And now it's a bit of a tweak of what I'm actually want to talk about. Because to me, everything is all about looks. And it's very interesting the sequence where they address him, obviously they look at him as they talk and they always couple glances around to other people that are in this room. Now, what I like about this is that when they show him this, this is clearly they are sitting together. So we know this is the proximity and I kind of also like that composition. But what I like about this is that even though we know we're there, what I'm taking out of this is this. So when he does this, that long look, we know he looks at Brad Pitt. And we know that he looks at Brad Pitt. This is Brad Pitt right here, this shadowy figure. And this part here, this is this guy standing here. But what I like about this, and this is something a bit, a bit of a tweak, is what if in your shot, imagine he's sitting here, but he is actually here, potentially. And this look here, and this look here is actually them connecting, meaning that one guy looks here and the other guy that's here or however your placement is. My main point is that one guy is here, one guy is here and the other guy of interest is watching whatever. And it is all about them here exchanging looks because they're curious how this person is going to react. That's my whole thing about this sequence, which I like. Because again, they're looking at him and they kind of want to see his reaction too. So he gets his material and then as they continue on, he will look at this and have the briefing and blah, 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 all kinds of reactions. But what could be cool is that what if in your shop, this could be a radio, this could, there could be a TV, this could be a laptop, whatever, where there is audio and visuals, whatever. You know that this is relaying information to this person. And this person is hearing this for the first time. And it is all about them reacting. So your setup would be that however you want to stage this could even be like this but again one person here one person here and sits down and i would probably do something where it's more like this where you you almost start if if i would do a sequence and tweak this i would probably do this where this as an establishing shot we understand the material that he's going to look at and here is a person and here's a person this person can always go off screen afterwards that's your shot one shot two would then be either like this where you might look at them, okay, what am I supposed to look at? And you can do your nice close-up acting. Then you see this, and then that's the material that is potentially shocking or interesting or whatever. So even the audience is a bit more interested in it. And you could potentially cut back to something like this where then the character is reacting. But I will technically go then from this. We see the information and we're going, oh, what is going on? What is this? Interesting. And then you can technically cut back to something like this. This person who might look down to the iPad and we can see parts of your character watching this, but then looks up and this look will be meeting this person. And I think that would be really interesting to animate where this character and this character are nodding, they're doing some faces, whatever, something, some reaction, some connection based on what the reaction of this person is who watches this. This sounds really complicated and elaborate. Now that I said this out loud, after I thought about it, it sounds very complicated. I just like the idea of someone looking at someone and reacting, but in not in isolation where they might go like, oh yeah, and then they look at the other person and then they meet, like their gaze meets and they have this connection like, oh yeah, that's that was important or see how this person reacts or whatever it is, but I kind of like that so that you have technically the audio of the TV, the iPad, the radio, whatever. And it's not about that. It's not about lip syncing to that. It's about the person looking at this going, what is this? And the audience goes, what is this? And then the two people who watch the person watching is going, yeah, that's also my dog. That's my dog. Next up is still the same sequence. And this is something where, spoiler, he is asking, wait, my father is still alive? And he goes, yeah, we think so. There are a couple of things about this. A, he throughout the whole movie is usually more like this. Relaxed, looking, not that much blinking, very much in control, never nervous. They even make a point out of him having his heart rate never go up. So there are a couple of things here. Just from a technical point of view, in terms of lip sync, he goes, but my father's still alive. <laughs> I was waiting for this. And I like this too, in terms of lip sync, where he is forming the B, the B, the B there, but then it says it. It's like at the beginning of it, but waits a bit, 
and then the line happens. So it's a cool little anticipation and just a reminder that your shapes and whatever, whatever you dial in for your lip sync doesn't have to be exactly when the audio starts. Think about what is the character thinking? Are they trying to say something? Are they nervous? Do, do they want to hesitate? Or, you know, is there some anxiety behind it? It's, it's a cool reminder of just that little detail of doing this. But the main thing I want to talk about is the contrast. So he usually has not very blinky eyes, again, because he's very calm, very confident, or at least very relaxed. And then as he asks, and you can see that little slight hesitation there in this, where like, wait a minute, my dad is still alive. And he goes, yes, we think so. The cool thing is this, watch his eyes. There's now a lot of darting, just within all of this. Dart, 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 darting, darting, darting. And the cool thing too in the audio is that if you watch this movie, you can hear his voice. And then as this shot progresses, the voice gets lower and lower and a bit more echoey. And so we can just purely focus on him. And it's like he is not really listening to this and just realizing, wait a minute, my dad is still alive. And again, you can see all the looks and all the eye darts and, and it's not even that much blinking as I scrub through, there's actually no blinking here, but it's all just a continuous moment of darts and darts. Very interesting. So again, for you when you animate something, when do you blink? How often do you blink? Is it a half blink? Is it quick darts? Is it important? Do you want to show that the person is thinking? Is it kind of like a shocked thinking, whatever it is. And also cool thing is that the sound afterwards goes back up and gets clear as he concentrates back on the character that's right there. And you can see this, oh, and now he's back. And you can see that little thing of, he is done processing and it's that change. You can see this a little bit in the eyebrows and even here as he has a little half blink, like a third blink. It's almost like, okay, click. Let me go back and actually concentrate on what's going on. And you have a little bit of a blink there. Not even, it's again like a little slight change in, in the eyelids as he looks around and then concentrates and the sound is back on and they keep talking and he asks him, so are you doing this for us or not? It's very cool, lots of little subtle detail stuff. The last thing, which again is here, is within the sequence, they ask, they just ask him, are you going to do this with us? And you can see again, darting around, a little blink, looking around, and he goes, yes, yes, sir, I'm doing this. So again, thought process, you want to look at darts, blinks, how do you want to just have a stare? Like, how do you want to communicate to the audience that this person is thinking, making a choice, or making, you know, in this case, he makes a choice, but whatever thought process that you want to visualize to your audience. Why am I showing you this though? I like the idea of the staging here, is that he's thinking and she's just waiting. She's blurry there, it's not a super focus there, but you wait and what happens is that when he has finally his decision of going, yes sir, I'm doing this, look at her, bam. She starts moving, okay, let's go. And then this, I love this. So imagine we're ignoring this, this is not your shot. You're not adding all of this if this is just your single shot here. But I like the idea that there's an outside hand coming in that can tap him on his shoulder, on his back, you know what I mean? Or it could be whatever, it could be someone, the wife caressing his hair, or a little kid putting some dirty socks on the shoulders, or whatever it is, whatever your setup is in terms of the characters and the scene and the situation. But to me, this and this just opens up the scene. And you can stage it like this, where it's blurry, you don't see too much. This is not too much to animate in terms of just a hand. I would probably bring it in for animation purposes. A big, big clear here, thumb, hands, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you might have some finger animation that might be a bit more technical. But I like that. It's that the moment he said this and he made that choice, the outside reaction is through her sudden movement. So a change in contrast of her waiting, 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 and let's go. And that extra thing here. And this could be someone who, Maybe it's a test and they said the right thing and now suddenly you have this hand, then multiple hands come in and they all shake him and congratulate him, high five. And it just adds more to it. It opens up the world so it's not just him and there are multiple people there. And it's, I just like that stuff, that it's, it feels more like this is a shot where a character is living in the world with other people. It's not a shot, as always, as I always say, a character in an empty scene where it's just kind of like I'm delivering a line and just presenting my animation in a clean way, which again, 100% is valid. I just like that expansion of the world and kind of the, the treatment of this is a shot and less of an exercise. And it's a shot where, again, the character lives with other people. There are consequences and there are influences around this person. And this could be part of a sequence. And for you, it's also a practice to think about that, to think about other elements around the character, because as you are potentially working on a movie, you will work within a sequence, within other characters that will influence your main character and you have to think about shot flow and editing and all that good stuff so to me this is just more of a an 
an expansion of your exercise animation that you usually do and a practice for a future job situation potentially maybe hopefully speaking of hopefully <clears throat> if that's a segue if you feel like this is helpful and you thought that's cool i'm gonna put that in my shop but i want a bit more help i have workshops as always link in the description my workshops are always open you can sign up at any time and i can help you with your awesome shots so sign up whenever you want speaking of want you can also subscribe if you want and hit the bell button to get all the notifications because i do upload a lot despite those times i will keep the schedule up and still upload and do my lectures and re reviews and all that good stuff so subscribe hit the bell button if you want to get notifications about all of that other than that if you're still here and still watching as always thank you for your patience and that's it from me and i will see you in my next clip